So this is Rick and Sharon. Okay. It's here, the cargo community. We just got back from Delaware Seashore State Park at the Indian River Inlet in Delaware. I have personally never camped at a campground like this. Have you? No, I don't really believe I have. I mean, the closest thing to this was the campground that we stayed at down in the Keys, um, which is also pretty much open, very, very uh, little bit of vegetation on it at all. Yeah, so w what we mean by that is we're used to camping more like in the woods. Um, so this was more like just a big vacant parking lot without any vegetation or trees. So it was new to us. And we were in like a sea of RVs, big motorhomes and RVs and everything. Well, the, the layout of this RV park was almost like a checkerboard, but slightly slanted to be kind of diagonal and other than a perfect square. But it was like every square or space on that checkerboard was a camping space in this campgrounds. There just was no free area that wasn't being utilized for either a bathhouse or a campsite. Well, they had a little volleyball court. They had a playground. And there were several bathhouses. Right. We were right across from a bath bathhouse. I could see how this could be a happening place in the summer because you just walk to the beach. Right. What's the beach? A thousand feet away? About 1,200, I think. But There is no shade, so you're definitely going to need some kind of a, um, awning or a gazebo or, pop, you know, those pop-up shade canopies because... Um, the, the problem, you know, that existed this weekend... No, none of these uh, motorhomes or RVs had their awnings out because it was so windy. Yeah. So it would have been too windy to put up a pop-up unless you wanted to see it get blown into the inlet. Well, I think it probably is windy there even on a calm day because you're right alongside the river and then there's the ocean on the other side and I guess the back bay's on the other side. Um, so I'm sure it, it gets quite breezy to begin with, but we had a, um, uh, I don't know if it was a storm, but it was a cold front or something moving in. So there were literally 25 mile an hour winds. So if you're going to go here, I would say you need your sunblock, definitely. And, um, I would think it could be buggy. You know, when we go to these campgrounds and we kind of say what our experience was, one thing that I was thinking about is... Our experience could be completely different from somebody else's because you could have the person next to you that is, you know, the rude, horrible camper. The weather could be horrible. Uh, it could be really buggy. Well, just like this time of year, you know, we could go camping and say, oh, it was very quiet and peaceful. And then the cicadas come out and the next week somebody else goes out there and says so they couldn't sleep. You know? Yes, at the ocean, so, like right there, which was cool. Um, it was off season. You cannot take dogs on the beach, so we really didn't do any surf fishing because we took honey with us. Um. Okay, ladies, you know I like to tour the bathroom for you. Um, so the bathrooms were, were adequate. They were clean, and there were several uh, bathhouses throughout uh, the campground. Lo and behold, the next day, to our surprise, we saw a little cargo trailer. So we had walked over, and we had met um, Brian and Rose, and they're a little camera shy, so we did not interview them. But lovely couple. So again, thank you for all your support. We really appreciate it. Keep uh, subscribing, recommending us to your friends. And we'll do this as long as we can. Thank you so much.